Hey everyone, welcome to The Fin Factor. I'm Paul. And I'm Aaron. This is episode number 59. 59. Brad Stobbitz. Oh, you wow. that guy? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good one. I like he, that. There's that one fight he had that was pretty gnarly. Yeah? I'll let you YouTube it, but maybe uh, maybe we'll throw it in the info button yeah, or something. Yeah, right. That's, Sounds like a good one. I like the throwbacks. Yes. Those, uh, we're getting to those numbers. Yeah, we are. Yeah. We're getting to the uh, the weird numbers now. <laughs> very good. So uh, this episode is actually a very special episode. We're going to be talking about uh, some of the new food menu items that they're going to be having at uh, SAP Center mm-hmm. this season. And we also had a special interview with Doug Bentz, who we interviewed the last season. So he's our first repeat interviewer, which is fantastic. So he's going to talk to you about... Uh, stuff that we can expect at the arena other than food, uh, kind of in-game experience and um, some of the giveaways and, and some other cool stuff that they've been doing for the year. Very good. Ready to start the show? Ready. All right, let's do it. Invited out to SAP Center to sample some of the new food items that they're going to be debuting this season. Uh, I guess last season they had done a lot of new things for the club level. This season they're focusing in more on the concourse and the suite level. So um, it was really a great experience. We got to go out there and completely fill our bellies. Uh, actually, Aaron uh, wasn't able to make it, but we had Super Key Group Joe and Super Producer Jason in the house as well. So uh, we were able to go there and we just saw a ton of crazy, awesome new food items that they had. And we'll show you some of that stuff uh, in, uh, in just a little bit here. But, uh, you know, one of the things that we talked to them about was getting people into the arena before the puck drops, uh, getting them to want to, you know, have a bite to eat at the arena beforehand so then they can sit down and focus on watching the hockey game on time when the puck does drop or if they're at their, uh, you know, at, at a concert, something like that. Yeah. So. Um, really a, a good initiative, I think, and they're, they're making it you know very enticing and very competitive with some of the areas uh, or the different places to eat in the, right. in the area. Yeah, and it's good that they're upgrading the food choices, basically, because the food choices were not the best over the years. That's so it, it, it'll bring more people in and get them here a little bit early. And I did not get to go, but I did get to see the pictures already, so I'm going to be drooling just as much as most <laughs> of you that are going to be watching this right now. <laughs> so yeah, definitely a lot of new food items that are there. All of them really very delicious, and uh, I'm sure they're gonna price them competitively because again, they want yeah. people to be in the seats. They want it to be convenient. So really awesome. Now, if you're you're staring and you're noticing, I'm holding this cupcake. Now, if you remember when Randy Hahn came on the show at the end of it, um, we were given some cupcakes mm-hmm. by Frost Cupcakes. This one happens to be a Frost Cupcake. Now, this is one that you can get from that cart, had all the desserts on it, and uh, they're selling these. Frost cupcakes. Wow. Now, remember, uh, Andrea, yeah. uh, she won the Cupcake Wars competition. Mm-hmm. These are phenomenal. I've already had one. Not this flavor. <laughs> I will have this later. I will spare you the carnage. Uh, <laughs> and it's an Oreo one. It. it I, I can't wait to dig my teeth into <laughs> this thing. But, uh, you know, they also had uh, some other really nice things like these, the kind of like sandwich, cookie sandwich things. Which I'm, I'm sure you, you saw that there, too. So lots of new things that are happening, not just for the club folks anymore. All across the concourse. Uh, if you're going to the sweets, the sweet level food has been fully upgraded. Uh, there's a lot of really good food up there. So uh, definitely a really nice dining experience mm-hmm. no matter where you are inside of SAP Center. So uh, before you go to a game and think about going to uh, you know, one of the eateries that's around downtown, maybe give it a thought to go over to the SAP Center. Give them a shot first because they do have a lot of really good food. Yep. Yep. All right, and with that, we're going to go to an interview that we had with Doug Bentz back at the Fan Fest. Uh, we got to interview Doug, and, and again, this is our second time interviewing him on the show. Uh, he was able to show us a couple things, like some of the local artists that they got involved for this season, uh, some of the swag that's being given out, and they're doing a lot more jerseys this mm-hmm. year instead of the bobbleheads that we have here. So um, a lot different look uh, for for things, and yeah. also the pregame uh pregame entrances and, and shows and stuff. Um, probably trying to, to you know, compete with Vegas in a way with their <laughs> silly Excalibur stuff that they got going on. Wow. So lame. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's take a look at this interview that we had with Doug uh, a couple weeks ago. And here we are back at Fan Fest with the VP of Marketing and Digital, Doug Bentz. Doug, thanks for being back on the show. Our first repeat yeah. interview. Oh, so this is oh yeah. C- I'm, congratulations. Yeah, I'm, I'm flattered. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thanks for having me back. Yeah, yeah. we be, should say thank you. Thank, there it is. There it is. 
So uh, we want to talk to Doug about uh, some of the things that are going to be happening actually just today even uh, here at Sharks Fan Fest. So Doug, um, what are some of the big activities that are happening here? How can the fans interact with all the players and what are we looking forward to? Yeah, so it's an exciting day. Fan Fest presented by Bay Area BMW dealers is always like, to me, the big day where it feels like the season's back. Great energy in the building, a uh, time when we have all fans uh, be able to come and have some access to, to the players' access to the ice. Um, so a lot, a lot of the fan favorites from the uh, previous years are here where photos on the ice uh, with, the, uh, with the center crest, with the shark head, autograph sessions. We added a few things to do this year. We actually did player panels to get a little more in-depth with the players, uh, le learn some things that you wouldn't otherwise. But I think the big thing this year was to change the Legends game and having some of the world's greatest female uh, athletes, yeah. hockey players here to uh, take on the alumni, which I'm not sure the alumni will be able to keep up. <laughs> That's, that's um, what we're thinking too. <laughs> so I already made my prediction. I think the women are going to crush them because they're already game shape, game ready. Yeah. Yes. And the boys are, I don't know. <laughs> the <laughs> we'll boys see. are in retirement. They're, they're training. Right. So. I, th I think we may have heard that same thing from the alumni. So. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so, but I, I, I mean, it's, it's a great honor to have them here. I mean, I think that pretty much aligns with Noah, our, our, our really philosophy of inclusion. Yes. And really showing how hockey is not just the Sharks team. You know, hockey is much more broad than that, and we try to support that. Right. Um, and I think the way we can help the, the, the females and, you know, and their drive to really become their own association only, only helps us. Absolutely. I love that. And that whole uh, idea of inclusion, it's, yeah, I know you guys have that hashtag, that hashtag Teal Together, and I think that's just it's a great message to be sending. Um, so I know you've got some things you want to talk about about that. Maybe just kind of jump right in and tell us all about that hashtag and, and that whole thing that's going on with it. Yeah, so coming off of, uh, of three years of a campaign, Sharks for Life, yes. which was very successful, it really allowed us to show off the deep passion of our fans. I mean, I think capped off with about 500 people getting tattoos last nice. year in the playoffs. I mean, our, our fans wow. are truly Sharks for Life. Yeah. But I think when, you know, especially for me, when you think about last year's playoff run, especially that, that Golden Knights series, that game yeah. seven, the feeling of just everyone being together and in that and not giving up. I mean, obviously it started with the guys on the ice. It started with the people in the arena. I think, to be honest, the people in the front office always talk about how we were kind of yeah. within that circle that night. And you, you talk about people in the community, like that was such a defining moment. And I think the thing that made it special was that really everyone was in together. Um, and so th that was really the, the start of this idea of Teal Together, and then you layer on really our, our devotion to inclusion, and then thinking about our organization, it's not just the Sharks team, mm -hmm. it's you know youth hockey, it's adult hockey, it's the Barracuda, it's the concerts, uh, the concerts and arena shows we have here. So there's so much more that we can all be together for and really enjoy these positive experiences. That, that just really drove the idea of Teal Together. Nice. Love it. Yeah. Nice, and uh, you have some special things coming up for opening night. You want to tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so opening night uh, will be the first regular season game uh, versus the Golden Knights following game seven. So really the, the goal there is, is to recreate that atmosphere. I mean, we want to start the season off right. Um, so it's going to be full playoff mode for opening night. So it's <laughs> going to start with a march from downtown to, to the arena. Uh, we'll have a street rally out, out front. And then the game presentation is going to be the same level as the playoffs with a little twist. So the, the LED wristband light shows that we've, we've come to know after the last few playoff seasons uh, will continue, but, but with a twist where each wristband is be individually controlled. So nice. where we created some cool effects by section, now we're going to the individual uh, wristband. So you can kind of imagine, I don't want to give away too much at this point, yeah. but you can imagine what we can do with, with the creativity there. Um, which I think will be very impactful for fans. Uh, we'll bring back the projection, but again, a little twist. We're not, it's not going to be on the ice. It's going to be on hanging banners. Nice. So a, a different twist there. Um, we've actually made a big investment into music this year. I think we've heard from fans about what we want to do with music, and so strategically we're looking at you know, what, really what the fans want and expect out of the music experience. Uh, so I think you'll feel that on opening night. Nice. Um, and some, some other twists with you know, intro to the players. Uh, again, it's, it's, it, will, it will not be missed, not only because it's <laughs> against the Golden Knights, <laughs> but I think the, the show and the atmosphere is going to be just as electric as, as last year during the playoffs. Awesome. And there's also a new app that you guys are, are putting out this year to, to kind of help the fans watching from not in the arena, right? Yeah, so we've, we've made a major update to the Sharks Plus SAP Center app. Uh, and there's a few things, few things that are new. It, it, it looks new. We tried to make it a little more uh, easy to navigate, which we heard from fans 
Um, there's some features that relate to game presentation. So we have a lot of new interactive games, like from checking in when you get to the arena to using the app to request songs or request different features, nice. uh, to be able to play during downtime, so like uh, interactive trivia. So just trying to bring that bring that to the fans where it it's, can be more than the game. You can really feel like you're part of the action. Um, the, the other big thing is, is streaming audio. I think, you know, as you see the evolution of where, you know, audio and radio is going, you know, we still definitely have KFOX back as our flagship station. But this year we'll have the pregame show uh, exclusively in the app all season long, cool. um, which I think will be really, I think, interesting for us to see. That we hear that's where we're going from the fan base, so can, can we actually work that now into our regular broadcasting? And then in February, which will, you know, more details to come later in the season, but for a weekend and four games, we're going to go exclusive on the app for pre-game and post. Wow. Um, and so just, just some interesting tests. I think from everything that we're seeing, we're just trying to do new things, and some, some I think will work, wait, work great, some, some maybe won't, but, but I think we're trying new things to keep it fresh for the fans. It sounds like you guys take a lot of feedback from fans and try and incorporate that into new things or changing things up. We, we, we do, we do. And I think, you know, w one example of that where we're kind of taking feedback and trying to mix it with where we're going with the t t uh, Teal Together campaign is our giveaways this year. I think I think we've we've gained a, I think a good reputation for the giveaways yeah. being unique. Yes, definitely. Kind of tell the story, kind of be something that is really things that Sharks fans know and can really appreciate. Um, but I think at a certain point, you know, all the, all the funny bobbleheads, you know, I think we heard from fans like, hey, what's like, what's next? Yeah. And so I think in aligned with the, the Teal Together campaign, we thought about like, can we bring in different perspectives from different kinds of fans about what the Sharks are all about? And it's not just necessarily the, the stereotypical hockey fan. Right. So we actually commissioned five different artists to give their own interpretation of what Sharks fandom was to them, mm -hmm. and then put those designs, those crest designs, on jerseys, um, which is the you know the, the jersey type giveaway item right. we've had. We've been very limited in jerseys in past seasons. This year we're doing five jerseys, which we've heard are, are the most popular really cool. item. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, again, mixing the feedback. Right. Yeah. Uh, I actually brought a few of these Excellent. The, the samples yeah. so, so we can see Check them. Check these out. Love it. Love it. You know, I'll start with my personal favorite. Yeah. So, yeah. we I call this one, uh, this design Shark Freak, and this is actually designed by a Santa Cruz skateboard designer. Nice. Uh, and, and really takes a much different approach than the traditional <laughs> hockey yeah. crest. Definitely. Um, but, but I think it just speaks to the, the types of fans we have. Like, this is what some people think of the Sharks. I mean, yeah. just fr freak athletes, like, just <laughs> yeah. going, going to the wall to, to get things done. I mean, this, and I think this is just cool and unique. You're not going to get this anywhere else. So yeah. it's something that we can give fans um, that'd be a cool tattoo. You can see I, that on a skateboard too. Definitely, yeah, really yeah. absolutely. I thought maybe it was just Burnsy on there, but now a closer look. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely no. It looks a phenomenal. I really do love it. I love that how it's like, it's like a liquid kind of like flowing off to the side. It just looks yeah. great. Everything about this is just awesome, and I cannot wait for this game. And so I will definitely be getting one. Yeah. So your points about where this can be. Uh, you know, this isn't just the jersey giveaway. Where this is really a platform. So we're actually have some promotional items with this logo cool. as well. Well, and nice. then we're going to actually have four lines of merchandise in the oh, shark wow. store. So if you miss the game, this isn't the only time you're going to be able to see some of these things. That's awesome. Um, and then we'll bring the artists in. You'll get to know them. You'll get to understand like nice. their perspective. A few of the other ones here. So this is a this is a female graffiti artist. Yeah, that's cool. Which again, just a whole different take. Yeah. I think definitely people will have their favorites. I yeah. think uh, you know. So, something for everyone, but right. again, just the different perspectives um, with these, which which Very we really nice. like. Colors and then, really cool. and then one yeah. last one. So oh wow, oh yeah. All those That's people nice. down in the South Bay, you, yeah. see, you see Santa Cruz Harbor. You really see the the essence of the shark, not necessarily being the crest, but but what 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 really that stands for. It's the cool. Water, they incorporated so. a lot of the colors in there too. Yeah, yeah. Ab yeah. absolutely. So, so five very different perspectives, really representing five really different groups of fans, and just really trying to make it feel inclusive that Sharks hockey is not just for the hockey fan who's been here for 25 years. Right. It can be really open to anyone, and we are a community 
that accepts everyone and at the end of the day we just want to have fun we want to watch our team and we want to go home feeling like we had a great experience right yeah, yeah. Hashtag, hashtag teal together, together. there you go <laughs> uh, you know, hashtag teal together. together because you brought up before you say you know people have a bad uh Bad image of bandwagon fans, and you say, right. "Bring them on!" I love bandwagon I fans. I love that's, bandwagon. That's how you become the fan. You right? start so, off. Most exactly. people start off as a bandwagon yeah. fan. They don't know much about hockey or anything, and yeah. they, you know, you slowly consume more and more and more, and you get to learn the rules, you get to learn the players, you get to learn every team, and then you're all of a sudden a full fledged fan. And I think things like this, where you know, again, uh, teal together and. The inclusion and uh, bringing everybody in and getting these designs that more people might be more interested in and kind of getting them into hockey just that exactly. much more, it kind of breaks them through that bandwagon stage. And you know, fans for life, yeah. right? It's our but, but, for life. I mean, there, there, there's there's a lot of new people coming to this market every day, mm -hmm. and just shouting "come to a hockey game" isn't necessarily the best message. Right. Like, hey, because I think you know, there, there's the team, there's understanding hockey, but I think it's the community of people. I think I think our fans are just such welcoming people and, yeah. and, and people who want to bring more people in, just like you talked about right yeah. now, to, to the community. Because um, that, that's, that's, that's really almost more powerful at yeah. times than, than the game. And I think this is an effective way of authentically doing that rather than just saying, hey, come, come, like, hey, right, yeah. we're, wel we're welcoming you, we're making it, we're, we're making it welcoming because we're doing things that really relate to different kinds of people. Nice. Well, I think anytime you give away uh, things like this, you're gonna draw people into the building for sure. So, uh, one other thing we wanna talk about, and it was uh, the food. Yep. So I know there's, we don't wanna get into too many specifics. Uh, there's a couple things I'm pretty excited about, but I don't know how much you wanted to talk about with all the food things that are going yeah, on. Yeah, so I, I mean, I think this goes hand in hand with really the, the fan experience of opening night. I think, you know, we, we, we often talk about who we're playing, we often talk about the game presentation, but there's so many more aspects to, to opening night and, and to obviously the season in general. But I think on opening night, you're gonna see a lot more food options. I We even maybe talked about this a little bit last year during the playoffs. Yeah. Last year we really focused on the club level, the Alaska Airlines club level to really improve the, the food, both the selection and quality. This year the focus was the concourse. So we're bringing nine new um, offerings to the concourse, wow. which is more than we've ever done yeah. by, by far. Um, so we have things like sushi, we have things like barbecue, we have things like Greek. I mean, re really tr trying to get that selection so when you come to the game, more than once, every time you can come and have a new food experience. I think along that same line of thinking, we took really what was a successful element last year in the launch test kitchen, which was down in the club. We brought that up to the concourse and it made a little twist. We've partnered with eight different local food trucks. So roughly every month of the season, a different local food truck will be featured. Uh, nice. Starting on opening night, it'll be the grilled cheese guys. Nice. Um, so again, j just trying to make it so every time you come to the game, it's a little bit different experience. It's it's unique. It's connected to San Jose. Mm -hmm. Again, coming back to Teal together, like th this is this is all something that we work together to, yeah. to create. Um, and then on the club level, we, we didn't necessarily forget about the club level, but we have two main uh, new features there. Uh, one of which I'll just mention is uh, it's called On the Road. Okay. So a connection to the team that we're playing. Again, just trying to, oh. to, to, to mix it up nice. and, and make it a unique experience every time you come to the arena. So very excited about food because we know that is a big part of the fan experience um, and that just complements what we're doing out here on the ice. Yeah, I'm excited for some roasted duck myself. Some so, what? Roasted, roasted duck? duck, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Sounds good. Did you have any other questions for him? Uh, no. Are we going to let him off the hook? I think we're good. I guess we'll do that. Okay, yeah. hey, uh, again, that was really awesome. Thank you so much for Thank popping you guys. Thank again. you for coming back. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, uh, Doug Benz. Uh, director of uh, Mark or VP of Marketing and uh, Digital yeah. for the San Jose Sharks. Had to have one gaff in there, just one. <laughs> so uh, don't forget, hashtag Teal Together. We live it every day. You yeah. do. I'm, I'm excited for the season opener to see that uh, little preview of what is to come for yeah. the season. So a lot of really good information there from uh, Doug Bentz. Uh, it's it's always great interviewing him. He has yeah. a lot of cool nuggets, and he's got all the swag, of the course. The swag so. is cool. We're going to get some of that on our set soon, so uh, our set will look a little bit different. Look some forward that cool to that. Stuff, yeah. Absolutely look forward to that. And, uh, you know, like he said, we'll have it displayed up so you guys know exactly what it looks like uh, as long as you're tuned in, which I'm sure you will be, of course, right? right? So, uh, you know, but for our swag, we're going to do something special for you guys. Of course, we're reminding you now from the last episode, we're going to do a discount code 
Uh, it is Patty, P-A-T-T-Y, which I'm sure will be down here somewhere. somewhere yeah, somewhere right about there. Yeah. Uh, so uh, if you use that coupon code, you will get free shipping in the continental U.S., I suppose. Entire U.S. Entire U.S. Why yeah. not? Let's extend it. Uh, so free shipping in the U.S. No for minimum orders either. For anything you Any order. order. Yeah. So hats, shirts, stickers, anything, use the code PATTY, P-A-T-T-Y, and you will get free shipping anywhere in the U.S. Very good. Awesome. Sounds good. Okay. Well, uh, gosh, that was just kind of a fun, you know, little aside. I know most yeah. times we're sitting here, we're talking about sharks and hockey and everything else. But, you know, sometimes it's really good to just kind of reach out and let the folks know about what's going on at SAP Center. Totally. Um, you know, either, you know, be it food, be it all the things that are happening with merchandise and uh, the giveaways and all that yeah. stuff. So um, just kind of a, a different little special episode for you guys. So with that, uh, we will see you guys next week. Next week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this episode, check out our other content, especially interviews. You can interact with us directly through social media at The Fin Factor and on Instagram at Fin Factor. And don't forget to join our live streams on YouTube. Visit our website at thefinfactor.com where you'll find all of our episodes as videos or podcasts. You'll also find our exclusive merchandise to help support our show.